Hello all, and welcome to this Thursday night whiskey review. Yes, we are reviewing whiskey. And what whiskey are we reviewing? We are reviewing a gift from Randall. So if you remember, he gave me that bottle of, um, well, he's actually given me quite a few things. But if you remember, he also gave me that bottle of Revel Stoke uh, peach tea flavored Canadian whiskey, which did not garner the most positive of reviews, shall we say. But what will we be reviewing today? <laughs> well, here's the other bottle. Revel Stoke Roasted Apple Flavored Whiskey. And, um, oh, yeah, didn't notice it, but yeah, this one's got, like, floaters in it. Can you guys see it, the floaters? Yeah, you, can't, you actually can see the floaters. I didn't notice that before. I guess because it's been in the refrigerator or something, or what have you. That's a good sign if it has floaters. <laughs> or a bad sign, who knows? Who knows? Well, let's read the back. I think it's the same, though. To the miners of life and purveyors of good times, celebrators of joke and laugh, it's time to think beyond serious, beyond straight faces and snarled lit. Like that. There's revelry to be had. Now, here in this moment, whatever, wherever this moment may be, let's stoke. Let's stoke, not stroke, stoke. So yeah, it's um, 70 proof, 35% ABV. And just, let's just get straight to this, shall we? Not gonna be pouring it into the Glencairn glass cause I don't know, why would I? Hmm, how did I bruise myself? Guess I'm getting near the age where random bruises just appear on my body. Okay, so this is a Canadian rye whiskey. Don't know the malt bill. Do know there's floaters. Lots and lots of floaters. Peach one didn't have floaters. This one's got floaters. Smells vaguely like Jolly Rancher. Jolly Rancher, yeah. Apple Jolly Ranchers. Apple Jolly Ranchers and booze. Not much whiskey notes there. But Canadian ryes, even when they're unflavored, don't really have bold flavors or smells to them. But, um, even though it's not as bad as you know, the peach one, I suppose. Of course, this bottle's chilled. I am not going to drink this warm. I don't think anyone should drink these kinds of super sweet flavored whiskeys warm. Because it's just too cloying then. Okay. On to the palate now, shall we? Well, it tastes very, very artificial, but not offensively so, like the peach one was. There's, there's still that kind of chemical aftertaste um, in the long finish, but it's not as strong as with the peach one. The alcohol is also perhaps a little bit more apparent than in the peach one. But I would say it's not particularly boozy, just slightly so. Definitely not hot. The amount of sugar in this kind of prevents it from feeling hot on the palate. Uh, 
Does it taste like roasted apple? Well, it tastes like the... It tastes like... Some sort of... Attempt at making an artificial flavor of roast apple. So, yeah. Um... And that's pretty much all she wrote, really. This will get you drunk. This really isn't something that you're going to be drinking for the taste. And honestly, I think per perhaps it would be improved by being on the rocks and diluting a little bit. You know, it ought to cut the sweetness and the... Um, chemical aftertaste down a bit. I don't have ice in my refrigerator because I don't really use ice. Um, I have a bad habit of chewing on ice, so I don't keep ice around. You know, if I have ice in my drinks, I just, when my drink is finished, I just kind of absentmindedly, you know, have the ice cube in my mouth and start chewing on it. And that's really bad for your teeth. I, have, I already have cracked teeth. No cavities, though, amazingly enough. Um, yeah, I've made it to almost 44 years of age without a single cavity. Brush and floss every day, kids. Uh, it'll actually... Wait, if you're, kid, if you're a kid, why are you watching this review? Go and watch Peppa Pig or something, or Caillou, or whatever is wholesome and will teach you to go and be a rotten child. I don't know. But don't watch alcohol reviews. This was not meant for you. It's poison. I'm drinking poison right now. It only turns into happy, magical, depression, disappearing juice when you magically turn 21, okay? Otherwise, before that, it's pure poison, and it'll make you sick. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I would not seek this out. I mean, it's not it's not so awful that I'm having trouble trouble getting it down, but it's not pleasant tasting to me. So I suppose there's that. You know, when I did the review for this, um, well, the preliminary for this review, I basically poured a glass while I was playing Colonization, you know, because I was distracted by gameplay, it went down pretty easy. This is not something you want to focus on when you're drinking. You know, perhaps when you're socializing or playing a game, yeah, it's good. It'll go and catch you a buzz while you're doing something else, but yeah, you don't really want to be focusing on the flavor of this because there's no nothing really pleasant to focus on there. But, like I said, still better than the peach, which tasted like a chemical experiment gone wrong. Still no real whiskey flavor coming through there, I'm sorry to say. Just sugar and artificial roasted apple flavor. Um, yeah. On the plus sides, this is cheap. It's under $20. It's not gag-inducing at first taste. On the negative side, well, you can't really think about it while you're drinking it. You can go and do something else while you're drinking it, and you'll probably be fine, but I wouldn't go and be like, and contemplate it because yeah when you contemplate it you just start thinking about what you'd rather be drinking instead so anyways thank you to Randall for uh, donating this bottle for review um, and see you know I, I mean It's there. It's done. It's done. It is finished. And that, folks, is your flavored whiskey review for this, uh, oh, yeah, I can 
maybe no, it's condensation. That is your flavored whiskey review for. Hey, now you can look at the floaters here. See them floaters floating. That is your flavored whiskey review for this evening. Uh, yeah, thanks again, and cheers. <laughs>